Hello people of the internet. So uh, a while back I bought some more tri-blend markers. Now I have this many tri-blend markers which I bought when Crafters Companion were having a sale and uh, I bought a few of these just to try them out and I really like them. And what I really like about them is the fact that they have the three tones in them so the dark the mid and the light that allows you to blend i am not fabulous at blending and i am not fabulous at um picking the colors that go together now the good thing about spectrum noir pens um is that they uh they're very easy to blend together because the colors are so for example on this one tn1 tn2 tn4 you know that this is a tan one two and four so you'll know that they all blend now i know a lot of the other marker brands do that copic do it and um arteza have now started putting um their pens in color families rather than just being random numbers which makes picking the colors that go together much easier um but i bought these when they were cheap and uh, i recently did a video where i compared all my alcohol brush markers i didn't include my bullet tip ones um and it was really interesting if you haven't seen that video i'll link it um so that you can go and watch it i'll do that so look up and down um because it was interesting to see how colors blended in the pens that were not automatically in color families anyway i really like the spectrum noir blending properties and um oh, i'm trying to think when i bought these it was back when ryman's was doing the special prices in september and i grabbed these two boxes um it was the only ones i had left in stock i know that i have a couple of these colors already but i wanted to bring them on board with the rest of my stash where's the rest of my plastic box as well there's a bottom of this box there it is. so it's actually a peel-off box. It's supposed to be for peel-offs, but it fits these pens quite nicely. So I'm going to hopefully fit them all in these two trays and not have to buy some special storage container because they are quite large. Now, so I um, know what colours I've got, I printed this out. Look, I don't have to do my own swatch sheet. They've made one for us. Yay. I'll also link this down below if anyone's interested. So you can see that there's 48 markers in the tri blend blend set this is a, oh this is interesting this is the tri blend brush is that the same as these so this is ice blue and it's got ib1 ib2 and ib3 ib1 ib2 and ib3 but these aren't brush are they oh. this is BT3, BT4, BT5. BT3, no, they're different. Okay, this is the blush run. I need to print out the other one, the one for whatever these are. Bullet tip. Okay, I have printed the right one, which is this one. Tri blend three in one color chart, and this is the tri blend brush. And it's really interesting to see the differences. So you can see in this brush one they've got gy1 gy3 gy5 and here on this gold yellow blend they've got gy2 gy3 and gy5 so they went two three five and here they went one three five hmm. and this coral got coral blend coral shades and these ones have got coral blend and coral extend so on the coral blend CR1, 6 and 11 on the brush and on the normal tip 1, 3 and 6 and I think the 1, 3 and 6 go together nicer than the them ones really interesting, I'm glad I've printed both I don't have the brush so I don't need the brush chart, I need the normal chart and these have got tiny little spaces in but my plan was to actually swatch I don't want to swatch in that. I want to get a bit of squidge as usual. 
I've just printed this, so it's very curly, as it always is when it's first printed. Very small char, but I want to swatch what I already have in the little spaces and then swatch my new ones and see which ones are duplicates. And yeah, I'm not going to buy any more of these. I don't think I am because I only use these for a very specific, you know, for when I want to do blends. So, tan blend. So 48 markers makes 144 shades. Where's tan blend? Tan blend. TN1, TN2 and TN4. Let's get you down. I'm not sure whether this is going to be useful for you guys, but... Oh, these have got such lovely little tips. I don't think they're as small as the illustrator tips. If I went to a show, you know when you used to go to like Ali Pali or whatever, I'd take this with me because like you get used to get some deals at shows, you know, like boxes of these for a fiver kind of thing. Nice skin tone, this. I'm not particularly close, so I'm not being particularly neat. You are closer to it to me. Maybe I should watch through the camera. No, that's impossible. To bring you down even closer. Woo! -hoo! And then I can get even closer. Did it look like the printed version? Hmm. Not anything like it, <laughs> which is why it's definitely worth colouring your own. What's next? Have I got any more beige ones? First of all, maybe in the boxes. Maybe in the boxes I have this the dark shades. All right, this. Oh, they're all in polyphene. How lovely. Tan shades, Look, they're all in, all sealed, which is handy. Oh, lovely. Okay. So this is TN six, eight, and nine. It's like two pins. And you've got an entire skin range. <gasps> Is that eight? Yeah. If I was good at shading skin weight, you know, skin. These would be good, wouldn't they? And dark is the TM9. Sorry about me going over the edge. I'm not trying to be exceptionally neat. Plus it's hard because the camera's in the way. She says that makes a white mess. So that's them two tan ones. Right, what have I got on the brown front? Golden brown, so earth brown, gold brown. So they're two new ones. So gold brown shades. Oh, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to want the full set, aren't I? We're not going to get the full set. You don't have to have full set syndrome. It's not real. GB6, this one.
I like it when companies make swatch charts. One, because that means I don't have to do them. <laughs> and two, you get to see what the full range is, even if you don't have it. Take my glasses off. I'm not going to be able to see anything. In the dark. Is that ten? Oh, this is going to be dark. So that's the brown shades, and then this one is earth brown shades. Mute blend, red brown, earth brown, and earth brown shades. Oh, good fun. Earth brown blend. Earth brown shades. This one, yeah. This one. I think the set was called the Woodland set. Is it? Yeah, woodland shades. Mid EB6. Now I think when I bought these from Ryman's in their clearing out sale, they were either four ninety nine or three ninety nine. Six pens, each with three colours, thus making six, 18, 18 colours for four ninety nine. dollars 99 That's less than a pound a pen, which is good. Hmm. They're very similar shades, those three, though. Not, the, not my favourite one, but that's all my browns. I've got on the green front. They're blue. They're green. They're purple. And they're pink. Let's, let's do these green ones. Citrus green blend. Citrus green blend. Citrus blend, is that that one then? CT one, that's a CG one. Citrus green blend, okay, all the way up here. CG one. Mm. Today has been a real alcohol market day. I've been going through. Uh, all my stash of alcohol markers. I uh, I recorded a video a few weeks back now. Up till this point, I still haven't made it live. It's been edited. It's online. I just haven't made it live because I was very very conscious of how much stuff I had in it. It didn't sit well with me. And one of the things I wanted to do is go through all this stuff and decide which ones I was going to keep, which ones I didn't like. That's what I've been doing today, really. Comparing pens. Deciding which ones are leaving. That's a nice. I like them greens. Right, so that's me CG. What's next? I've got Jade Green Shades and Green Turquoise Blend. Green turquoise blend is here. GT1 light. I like people matching things for me. I'm not great <laughs> if you've watched the video of me comparing and trying to get things to blend. 
you can see that I'm not probably the best colour matcher. So someone doing this for me or making it this easy. One, two, three. That's as easy as one, two, three. I mean, I know that Copics are um, colour firm need, but I still get confused by the G017.96. You know what I mean. That's nice, that colour. My favourite colours. All three of my favourite colours in one pen. Green turquoise plate, but pen is my favourite pen. Right, is that all the greens? No, I've got jade, jade shades. Jade green shades, the one next to it. Lovely, lovely. These are the darker ones. I think I need to open the window, let some of this alcohol smell out. Problem is my next door neighbour was mowing the lawn with a push lawn mower. <laughs> Plus you can hear all the aeroplanes going over that are now flying. JG5. We turned our heating off today. We were like, yeah, spring's on the way. Let's turn the heating off. And we, then we were both cold. So we've we've turned it off being permanently on. And we've just put it on for a boost for an hour. So I can feel the heat on my legs. It's lovely. Because it's lovely and bright and sunny, but it's cold. Okay. That's quite dark, that one. What else have I got on the green front? I've got a couple of new greens in here. What new greens have I got? Oh, just the one. Well, this woodland set. Oh, it's the same one. <laughs> Jade green shade. So I'm going to not open that one. Because in this set that's called woodland, you get one green, one yellowy one, and then lots of browns. The yellowy one was the gold brown shades one that I've already done. Okay, let's take them two out and move on to the blues that I have. Looks like two blues I have. Ice blue and blue turquoise. Ice blue one. Little white feather just blew in, which is interesting. Because today is the date that my dad died. Hmm. Twelve years ago. Wow. That's nice colours though, it's nice shades of blue. Then we've got blue turquoise blend, BT3, 4 and 5. I wonder what happened to BT1. Done that the wrong way round. No, 
I haven't BT3, BT4, that was the right one. They're a nice fine point these. If you like fine points, which I do. Lovely. What else have I got on the blue front? It is here. There's a blue in there. These are called jewel shades. True blue. Nice. Oh, this one looks nice. Oh, it's so nice doing that. So we got TB5, 6 and 9. Glasses back off. I need to get you right down. TB5, 6 and 9. Six and nine are quite close to each other. Okay, that's my blues. Right, what? Is that all my blues? Yes. Let's do my purples now then. Purple blend. What have I got in here? Mm, blue turquoise shade. Is that the same as that one? Blue turquoise shade. Yes, it is. Put that over there. What else have I got? Is that the two boxes empty? Yes. Purple light, purple mid, purple, purple blend. It's just called purple blend. There. a nice purple. Oops. And then we've got Hydrangea blend, which is HB1. One next to it. Oh, nice. HB one, two, and three. They had a sort of grey tone to them ones. Let's see how we compare into the um, the coloured version. Mm 
No. <laughs> uh, what have we got next? Bright pink blend. BP1, 2 and 3. Down here. <gasps> Shocking pink. Wow, that is vivid. CR 7, 8 and 10 coral shades. Coral shades up there. Okay, what have I got in my new ones? Pale pink shades, coral shades we've just done, so that's a duplicate. Bright pink shades, oh, it's the one to go a lot inside, that one. So BB4, 6 and 9. These are nice, they're more like a fuchsia colour. Lovely. I have three left. Dark red shades. Let's do that because I don't have any. That's the only sort of red one I've got up there. DR5, 6 and 7. Over here. <laughs> giving in totally with the uh, going in the lines
It's almost got brown in that. Mahogany. Okay. Ooh. Bing! Nice little pops of colour. Now I've got one grey and one brown grey. Let's see what I'm missing. I'm missing a decent yellow. A yellow and an orange. Hmm. I have got alcohol ink all over my hands today. But I'm going to do it. Do it and get it all done in one day. Get yourself covered in ink. Then I can have a bath. <laughs> have a bath. Soak it all off. Okay. What was this one? Ice grey six, eight, and nine. I'll leave the dark grey shades. Oh, sorry. Didn't bring you back in. I'm here probably. Popped in then, didn't it? This one's going to be dark now. Mm -hmm. Lovely. One left, which is brown grey shades. Five, six and seven. Oh, these are like a warm grey. Stay there where I went over the edge. Oh, that one's bad as well. Oh, no one's gonna see it. It's just me and you, no one else is watching. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. What an awkward number. If I was to buy any, I'd buy a yellow up there somewhere. Maybe an orange blend in the yellow blend and then that would be 21 I've got enough purples maybe a light blue some kind of blue here maybe that wasn't blue turquoise shades was it? oh it was it's a different one I've got blue turquoise blend yes I've got 20 that means I don't have to worry about it yes well, I could still do a yellow one let's get this one open I've got polythene all over. Oh, this looks nice, this one. BT7. Okay, rushing in. I saw the words blue turquoise and thought I already had it. Beautiful colours, these. Mm hmm. Yes, that should go with the other. There. Right, that's better, isn't it? Right, if I was to buy any, I would buy an orange, I would buy a yellow. Orange blend, gold yellow blend probably, and maybe light green blend. Anyway, there you go. That's the ones that I have. That's, that coral blend looks more like red. There isn't really one called red, is there? Dark red, but not 
Yeah, this is called Coral Shades. Anyway, if you've been watching, thanks very much. And if you've been watching, and you're still here at the end, uh, if you would like these two that I already have, which is Jade Green Shades, this one, and Coral Shades, this one, then, um, and you're in the UK, because there's no point in me popping these in, in an envelope to America, uh, just drop me a comment down below and say I'm in the UK and I would quite happily have these first person to actually leave a comment will get them because uh, leave it open too long otherwise so uh, if you've watched this far and you'd quite like these just you know say down below so thanks very much for watching take care bye